Here's my goal for the next five minutes. I want to convince you guys that some of what passes for innovative use of technology in the classroom is actually dehumanizing and therefore destined to be ineffective. And I thought, what, a, what better way to start than with a blue police box? For those who aren't addicted to Doctor Who, that's the TARDIS. It's an amazing box of infinite potential. It can take you anywhere in space and any time in history. It's bigger on the inside. There's all these amazing facts. Well, it's, it's a ridiculously cool box. Here's some other very cool boxes. <clears throat> Um, and a few years ago, one of the box makers of these things, that bigger on the inside, check, can take you anywhere, yeah, time travel not so much, well they decided to spend billions developing a new box and then begin touting how it was going to change the world and in particular education. And how are they going to do that? They're going to revolutionize the textbook. Okay, I watched the infomercial, and I, I have to confess, I was stoked after that seven minute infomercial. The future looked amazing, and it was right around the corner, but then I watched it again, and a third time, and all of that excitement disintegrated into what looked like a few gimmicks. You're not excited about your textbook? You need digital flashcards. You need sorting activities that students don't actually sort anything. They just tap a button and it all goes like that and it's perfect. So Apple and I part ways as we walk down the woods. I thought we were going to change the world and they're just selling this idea that teaching is little more than sequencing the right, the right combination of, of letters and symbols or in this case ones and zeros. It treats kids like consumers and therefore it's not just um, something that that is neutral it's actually training them to to be that way so here's what I would like to do let me back up sorry the slides it's crazy 15 seconds I'm losing my mind there's one part of the video that still resonates with me it's this right here the idea that if you can stimulate curiosity then you've got the spark for learning I said amen to that but what is it that stimulates curiosity it is a is it a grid like that where you've got 900 skills just begging to be mastered. Uncle, Uncle Sal is on the side to help whenever you need it. And if you weren't inspired the first time, pause, rewind, play it again, that should work. I've seen the future and it terrifies me, or at least one version of it, because it looks like this. You've got headphones and no heart. Everything that makes our students most human is put on pause and set to the side. That's not the revolution I was looking for. Isn't she adorable? There's another one that looks exactly like her. It's amazing. But what I want for my students and my kids and other people's students is I want them to come home from school and I want to say, what inspired you today? What made you curious today? What did you create today? So here's what I propose. I've got four ideas that I think we can use technology in ways that humanize us rather than dehumanize us. The first thing I'd like to do is replace indifference with curiosity. Let's break out our cell phones. And when you're in the, the, the kitchen, the checkout line at Vaughn's, your battery's about to die on your phone, or you're just randomly trolling the internet and you see this picture of Skittles that blows your mind, capture those things, draw them into class so that you can draw your students into the world of math. Catch their curiosity. Number two, let's replace consumption with creativity. I have never, ever, ever had a student email me and say, I just spent a week binge watching Khan Academy videos and it was amazing. <laughs> but I did have a student, and I want you to imagine the previous slide right now, I did have a student send me an email and he said, look, I made this boat. And he didn't make it for a badge. He made it because making things is amazing. Let's do more of that. Let's replace competition with collaboration. Competition's cool, but I am less interested in energy points and smartphone clicker quizzes than I am in students using tools like Google Drive to collaborate, revise, give feedback to each other. Let's replace isolation with what's going to come on the next slide, but I think I'll tell you now anyway. Let's replace... The timing is horrible. Let's replace isolation with conversation. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but teacher.desmos.com It'll blow your mind, and instead of getting kids isolated, headphones, these little cubicles, that's not progress. Let's get more discussion, more math arguing going on in the classroom, because that's what's valuable. If you want to talk about the flipped classroom, this is what I would like to flip. All of that, and let's flip it over to here. Technology is one tool among many. And it's only as powerful or as useless, or in some dangerous cases, as damaging as we make it. So let's use these tools well. Thank you.